Spiky and Bubbles were playing with the ball when it hit the chandelier and the string of decoration lights. Something interesting happened next. Oops, this is bad. We should have gone outside to play. Hey Bubbles, isn't this strange? Only one bulb of the chandelier has gone out. But for the decoration lights, all the bulbs have stopped working. But why? Good question. It's time to learn about the types of circuits. An electric circuit is a path along which electric current flows. A simple circuit has a cell, a bulb, and a switch connected by wires. But what happens when there are two bulbs? How can we connect them? Well, we can connect the second bulb right next to the first bulb. Or we can connect it above the first one. Well, let's see who's right. Let's make spiky circuit first. We need a battery, a switch, three bulbs, two that work and one that's burned out, and connecting wires. Let's set up the circuit. Now, let's add another bulb right next to the first one. What happens to the brightness of the first bulb? Whoa, it's dimmer. Exactly. Now replace one of the light bulbs with a burned out one. What happens? Both the bulbs go out. This is a series circuit. If all the electrical components are connected one after another in a single loop, then it is a series circuit. In a series circuit, there is only one path for the current to flow. The amount of current that flows through each bulb of the circuit is the same. Now let's try Bubbles' suggestion. We'll add another bulb above the first one. What happens to the brightness of the first bulb? It remains the same this way. Correct! Now replace one of the light bulbs with the burned out one. What happens? The burnt out bulb does not glow, but the other bulb is still glowing. It is not affected. Excellent observation! This is a parallel circuit. If all the electrical components are connected in two or more loops, then it is a parallel circuit. In a parallel circuit, there is more than one path for the current to flow. Each loop is independent, so the current in one loop will not affect the current in another loop. So, now we know that both Spikey and Bubbles were right. Spikey connected the bulbs in a series, whereas Bubbles connected the bulbs in parallel. Hence, there are two types of circuits. One, series circuits, for example, decoration lights. Two, parallel circuits. Our home appliances are always connected in parallel. But why? Why don't we use series circuits in our home? Because series circuits come with a disadvantage. Let's take a closer look with an example. Look at these bridges. They are connected one after another in series. You can cross these bridges easily. But what happens when one of the bridges collapses? Can you cross to the other side? No, we can't. Exactly. This is the disadvantage of a series circuit. A break in any part of the circuit stops the flow of current in the whole circuit. Another disadvantage is that the more bulbs we add to the series circuit, the dimmer they become. Now look at these bridges connected in parallel. What happens when one of the bridges collapses? Can you cross to the other side now? Yes! 
because we can use the other bridge to cross to the other side. Well done! This is the advantage of a parallel circuit. When there is a break in one of the branches in the circuit, current can still flow through the other branches. Also, the brightness of the bulbs remains the same since every loop is independent. Now, can you explain the chandelier and decoration lights problem you had earlier? Oh yes, it makes sense now. Only one bulb of the chandelier went out because it is connected in a parallel circuit. One broken bulb did not affect the current in rest of the bulbs. But for the string of lights, all the bulbs went out because it is connected in series. One broken bulb will stop the flow of current to all the bulbs. Good job! Let's summarize. There are two types of electric circuits. A series circuit is one in which all the electrical components are connected one after another in a single loop. A parallel circuit is one in which all the electrical components are connected in two or more loops. A disadvantage of the series circuit is that a break in any part of the circuit stops the flow of current in the entire circuit. But a break in any part of the parallel circuit does not.